CBS presents Christmas Eve with Fairfield University. Along the coastline of southern New England, just a train ride from New York City, lies Fairfield University. 75 years young, this modern Jesuit Catholic university carries on a 500-year-old tradition that believes education is not an end in itself, but is a formative process that leads students to care for the well-being of their fellow men and women. As this year's fall semester ends in a flurry of term papers and final exams, the Christmas spirit is present in moments of inspiration and celebration, moments that remind us to be grateful for the many blessings we have in our lives and embolden us on our journey as women and men for others.
angels gave the sign Bow to babe on bended knee The savior of humanity Unto us a child is born He shall reign forevermore Noel, Noel Come and see what God has done Noel, Noel The story Son of God and Son of Man, there before the world began, born to suffer, born to save, born to raise us from the grave, Christ the God is looking at what he has made. He has made everything. And now he's looking down and, and the whole world seems to be in such a mess. And, and so uh, he sends his son as a way of his intervening. And so in his son, Jesus, um, God becomes human. And I see that as a way today for us understanding what we celebrate as Christmas, God with us. God becoming human is adjusting his presence with us. And so in a way, physically, he's becoming more present. I spend a lot of my time 
on a one-to-one -one basis talking with people about God, helping them in that whole sense of God's presence with them. And I would say exactly the way I'm talking here, that has so much to do with what we celebrate at Christmas. So the celebration of Christmas for me in, in, in talking about God being with us, joining us, being present with us is really a very um, uh, explicit celebration in the, in the whole community here of Fairfield that really we are celebrating the presence of God with us these days. When you reflect about what is the mean of giving somebody a present, a very important human side of that is it's a way in this material thing uh, that you're, you're giving something of yourself. I believe that every physical present that we give to somebody is an aspect of that. I'm giving you something of myself and it's embodied in this material thing. I am very touched by the Christmas tree. There's some kind of deep meaning for that, maybe because it may be one of the most identifiable items for us in our celebration from Christmas. So in, in a way, that goes back to the very, very early times, memories of the, the Christmas tree, of getting the Christmas tree, of decorating, and it, that, that it takes up a big space in the house. It's almost invariable. Wherever you are and you're celebrating Christmas, there is a Christmas tree. If I was to say one thing about uh, Christmas Day to, to people, uh, to all people, um, I would say this, and it touches the deepest levels of my faith, the deepest levels of, of, of Christians' faith, and that is God loves you. Uh, he loves us so much he wanted to become one of us. And he did.
When I think of Christmas, I think of giving back to others. I chose to go into nursing because I knew I wanted to make a difference in the world. And one of the Jesuit values that I think coincides right with nursing is men and women for others. During the holiday season, when we encounter patients in the hospital, it's obviously a very rough time for them because they aren't necessarily going to be able to attend their Christmas Eve celebration or Christmas celebration surrounded by all their families and friends. We take that into account because we're not necessarily with our families as well, and you kind of make your coworkers and the patients and their families that you're spending this holiday with part of your family. You take them in under your wing and they take you in just as much. I love being involved and I love seeing the smile and happiness on somebody else's face, knowing that I was in some way involved in that. Within FUSA, it's amazing because you have all these individuals come together who have different majors, backgrounds, ages, and you come together to work for a common cause. One of our goals is to give back. We are constantly setting up volunteer projects, going out into our community and looking for ways that we can be a helping hand. We develop events for our community members. We look to see what the issues are and how we can better the student experience and life here at Fairfield University. It's a lot of work, but since I enjoy it so much, I'm happy to wake up early or like stay out late to go to that extra event and push back studying for a little while to be present. There's something special about being at a small school for this holiday season. You're surrounded by friends and a community. The whole student body, faculty, staff, administration come together and have a common purpose. Christmas holds a special place in my heart, and I do think it's just a season that you have to take a step back and look in the mirror and see how fortunate you are, but remember that there, there are people out there that aren't as fortunate as you, and what can you do to make a difference in their lives? Christmas at Fairfield is a very cheerful time. The students and staff get really into the Christmas spirit, so it's a lot of fun. When I was born, I was left with a physical disability called cerebral palsy. But my family raised me like any other child, teaching me that I was no different than anybody else and that I could achieve anything that I set my mind to. When my dad passed away about three weeks before my second birthday, my mom encouraged my brothers and me to keep going, to follow our dreams and to honor our dad's memory by never giving up. So as a result, I have received a normal education I'm living out my dream of becoming a writer and author, and I have done some crazy awesome things like zip lining and parasailing. What I didn't realize though was that this is not normal, that disabled people typically don't receive a normal education, that most people, abled and disabled, give up on their dreams because they don't think they can achieve them. I decided that I needed to change this, so I established an initiative known as Project Yes You Can. The goal of the organization is to go out into the community and work with cancer patients, disabled people, and the general population, including the university community, to teach them to have a positive outlook and how to overcome obstacles to achieve their dreams and goals. We have about 160 students signed up and we do a lot of service projects. We just ran a campus-wide event to make blankets for the kids in Shriners Hospital for Children in Springfield, Massachusetts. 
Christmas today is portrayed as such a commercial holiday, and that has become a major focus of the season, but I try not to get all wrapped up in that. I have come to think of it as a time to gather with my family and friends to celebrate the religious beliefs we share, to reflect on the blessings we have in our lives, and just to give back and show appreciation to loved ones and my community. Fairfield's community is pretty close-knit, so for the most part everybody gets to know each other, and I think that's what makes it special. Little house on Vine Street, snow fell all around. You and I remember Christmas in our town, days when hearts were younger. Hear the sleigh bells sound Now I feel a hunger For Christmas in our town On the block where we once lived Love was But a memory of Christmas in our town. Shadows along the sun down only stars remain but when I hold you by the fire it's Christmas in
I love cheerleading. I'm such a naturally like happy person. I laugh at everything, to be honest. I just like being in front of the crowd and like just being with my teammates and being on the court and you know getting to know all the players that I cheer for. I grew up in a dual religion household, so my mom is Christian, my dad's Muslim. Both my parents are from Jamaica. During Christmas time, we always celebrated being in America, being part of a community, and growing up in New York was really cool. My mom was like the queen of Christmas. She picked out the Christmas tree every year. She picked out the colors. Sometimes she would let us help, but if we didn't like agree, like she would ask us to see if we agreed with her, but if we didn't agree on like color schemes, she would just like pick what she wanted anyway. One time we did like purple and gold, and then the next time we did, um, I was really into pink, so she made our Christmas tree like pink just to satisfy me. I think family is really important, and if everyone thought that, you know, we were all family in a sense, that if people just loved each other and, you know, regardless of whatever they believed or what they looked like, um, or even how they got here, um, the world would have a lot less problems. Being on a Jesuit campus has really helped me um, learn more about myself through the Jesuit values and how to treat others. I've always known like to treat others with respect and treat others how you want to be treated, but I feel like the Jesuit values really dive further than that and go deeper into like being a person for others. I always notice around Christmas time, we're always focusing on giving back and like going to other communities and having food drives and um, clothing drives and that kind of stuff. So I think it just brings people together and that's what I like because I, I always want to be with people all the time, just trying to give all you can to support other people. I feel like that aligns with the Jesuit value of being a person for others.
have a bright future that they all should know. Love to last the whole year long. Many amounts of freedom and so long ago. Won't you join our voices in this song? Merry, Merry Christmas, peace on earth. Joyfully we say. Today was Christmas Eve, tomorrow was Christmas Day. Wouldn't we have a real good time dancing our cares away? Say it, horns! Well, I ain't heard music like this since I can't remember when. Let's all hear it again. Let's all sing it again. Encore. Let's all play it again. Encore. Maybe we can do it again. Christmas Day. Clap your hands for a brand new year. Santa is on his way. Well, I ain't heard music like that since I can't remember when. Let's all hear it again. Let's all sing it again. Let's all play. College is this place coined as the place to find yourself. I came in just saying, you know, I'm gonna be a business major. But I found on the way all these other things that I could do aside from that. My first year here, the first thing I joined was the Lord's Court Choir, and I loved everyone that was involved with it. I actually said to myself, like, this is so much fun that I get to intertwine my two passions, like, with my faith and music. And I told myself that I wanted to lead that choir when I was, when I'm a junior or when I'm a senior. And when I finally got the chance to do that, it was amazing for me. Singing at mass during Christmas, singing the songs that we all love around Christmas time, is just something special. They're just such great songs that we listen to when we're kids, but we kind of turn our own spin on the song. I think the students really 
feel connected to the song or connected to, wow, it, Christmas is coming. A lot of the messages in the Gospels that I hear leading up to Christmas is all about this idea of waiting. The obvious idea is we're waiting for Christmas to come, we're waiting for Jesus to be born, but also it has another meaning to me on Fairfield's campus that God can show up in your life at any moment, and that's shown through your different activities, your different school subjects, the finals you're taking. So you're kind of waiting for him to show up, to kind of either help you out or tell you to do something different. Being a part of Lord's Chords, it's really helped center my faith to trust in God, trust in his plan. And I think waiting is all about that idea of Christmas time, waiting for this joyous thing to happen. I think I felt an even stronger sense of community on campus during Christmas, and that's because we have so many events on campus that all the students love to go to during Christmas time. It really gives you a sense of the Christmas spirit, even during finals or we're going home for a month. It's a great way to share in this experience together. I am from the Congo, uh, that's where I was born. Back home, uh, people have the same feeling that this time of year, but it's a lot more about family, uh, about the church, about the tradition, witnessing the little play about uh, how Jesus is born. I've been part of the play actually twice. I, once I was an angel, Andrew Gabriel, the other one I was uh, Joseph. And 
it's all about good grandma's food also after the church because like everybody uh, is around there and when she said on the table people just run into a table because they know that food ain't gonna last because it's so good my grandma she raised she raised all of us pretty much you know she she's a strong woman she's my role model i love that woman too <laughs> to my soul i love her you know in the middle of struggles and everything she always finds it in her heart to help others honestly uh, I'm, I'm thankful to be alive. I survived war. I don't know where I would be today if I wasn't given a chance to, uh, to play basketball and actually go to school. So those are the things that I'm always grateful about. I'm grateful to be alive and I'm grateful to the opportunity that was given to me. Fairfield has showed me like what it means to live in the community. Here we have a very supportive system people that support me on and off the court. And that is something that I learned at Fairfield. Like, you don't have to do everything by yourself. You can ask for help and it's okay. You know, you don't look weak by asking for help. And that is something that I used to believe. I try to base uh, my leadership in unity. There's even a say that says, uh, if you wanna go fast, walk alone. If you wanna go further, walk together. So that's what I kind of trying to get my team to, to walk together, you know, brothers, uh, all like as a, as a chain, you know. So as long as we're part of that chain, you know, we can always move forward. I don't have to be the best player on the court, you know. I don't have to be the one making 30 points a game, but I definitely have to be the one working the hardest. And that speaks louder than just leading the team by talking. It's kind of hard sometimes not to be home. I'm the first son, and I'm the role model of my, my brothers and sisters, and I would love to be there for them. I miss uh, not seeing them uh, grow up. I wish, I honestly wish that I could spend Christmas with them. I don't know if you're a believer, but I'm, I'm really a believer, you know? God put me in this path uh, for, for a reason. And I'm a follower, and I'm a work hard. It gave me uh, an opportunity to be great, not just good. And I'm a work hard to get there. All I can say is be grateful for the people you have around you. You have to be grateful for being alive. And you have to love and cherish each other. That is all about Christmas. It's that family time. It's that togetherness time is that chain. I've had the privilege to come here a few years on this beautiful candlelight mass. Feels kind of cozy in here, doesn't it? And it's meant to feel that way because we are being guided by the light of candles candles that pierce the darkness. You know, my friends, in Advent, what the Lord is reminding us is that you and I are living candles. That long after this Mass has been celebrated, we go out onto the mountains, into the valleys, wherever we need to go to bring light and hope to every human heart. Isaiah says, blessed are the feet of the messengers of glad tidings. This Christmas, my prayer for you and for me is that our feet will be blessed because we will dare to be the messengers of glad tidings that the mountains and the valleys will one day be leveled in a highway to our God.
gracious good Advent evening, Santa, Mrs. Claus, Lucas, and Stag's present, future, and forever. Let's pause and remind ourselves that we are ever in the presence of our God who dwells and labors alongside us. We continue to give you thanks, O oh God, for our lives, for our health and well-being, for our community that gathers this evening in celebration. Continue to strengthen us and build us up in all the gifts of this Advent and Christmas season, hope, joy, giving, and life. Continue to impress and strengthen our learning that we grow in wisdom and in grace like Jesus before us. May our faith continue to strengthen and inspire us. May our service to those around us be an example and a model of what Fairfield stands for. Continue to give us all of these graces so that we can build up in our world and communities the common good, so that we can go out and do something beautiful with our lives. Oh God, as St. Ignatius reminds us, let all of our thoughts, our words, our deeds always give you glory. In this Jesus' good name we pray, amen. And at this time, it is my pleasure and honor to introduce the first lay and ninth Ignatian leader of Fairfield, President Mark Nemec. Thank you, Father, and thank you all for joining us on this Advent evening. It is my great honor and privilege to welcome you here and just offer you a Christmas wish. And this Christmas wish is a simple one, but one that our family holds very dear. And that is for this Christmas season, as we enter into these solemn days, we do so with the utmost humility, the utmost gratitude, and the utmost kindness. Because I know that is how our family has re been received by this Fairfield community, and it's why this Fairfield community is such a family to us. So thank you all for your presence, and may you have the merriest of Christmases. And with that is my great, great honor to commence the countdown to light the tree. So can I have it? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. simple moments we share with each other at this time of year remind us that we are one people united by the comfort, warmth, and strength of our common humanity. In this season of giving, hope, and joy, our Fairfield University family wishes you a Merry Christmas and a happy and peaceful New Year. <laughs> 